What are synchronicities um, in this practice? Excuse me? What is the purpose of a synchronicities? Synchronicity. I don't understand your question. I mean, I understand the words, but I, I'm not quite sure what this question has to do with your spiritual life. Other than just some intellectual thing that you're coming up with. Uh, I mean, synchronicity, how, how do I define that? And what do I say about it? I mean, I don't know. I have no answer for this. So it's just meaningless. Huh? It's just meaningless. Excuse me? It's just meaningless. It's meaningless? I, I don't know what to tell you, uh, Rachel. I mean, about the, I don't know what's meaningless. Everything has meaning. Everything has something to teach us. But what does synchronicity have to do with this? Uh, you know, I mean, that's a question you ask a mathematics professor, you know, I mean, I don't know how to answer it, frankly. <laughs> does, does anyone else have a question that would like to ask? You no, know, I like to answer questions, and I think they add an incredible thing to this class. But the questions have to come from really deep inside of, you know, something that you've been working on in yourself to change, that by getting the answer, it will really take you to another level in your spiritual development. You know, that's what the, you know, they say, ask and you'll receive. And when you ask from that kind of a place inside, you get answers. You know, I mean, you get, you know, you get answers that really help you to move to different levels in your life, transform things, change things, grow inside yourself. I mean, questions are very important. And most of the time I get questions that not only help the person that asked them, but it helps everybody else here. The question about synchronicity, I, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. There, I have a question, Bob Sink. Yes, Bob. So uh, you and Rudy have spoken many times about uh, the that the student has a right to demand. And how can I do that from a place of uh, detachment? You know, Bob, you've been doing that all your life and you don't even know it, you know? I mean, the way you have contributed to what went on in Big Indian and that stupa and people and the way you contributed, you know, my full experience of you was in Texas and how you contributed was really you demanding, getting energy, getting a spiritual life, not through words, but through your actions. They were incredible. And uh, I, I think that's how you demand. I mean, your situation is different today. You can't do those kind of things today. But in your heart of hearts, there's a way of finding how to ask, to ask, and to get answers that help you move on in your spiritual development. I mean, what you contributed to, and un, you know, unconditionally, you never asked for anything in return, except being willing to do and to help, and to use it as a way of serving God. That's demanding. And then you have to, I mean, when I saw you going through all that stuff and doing that, I made you a teacher of his work. 
You didn't have to ask me, I want to be a teacher. It was in your actions. It was in the love. It was in the way you really contributed to a situation. That's what I ask. It's, you know, it's not, I want that my ego wants this and I demand. That's just bullshit. It doesn't take anyone anywhere. But the way you contributed to situations and the way I saw you contributed to them, I had no choice in the matter but to say, okay, Bob, you will be a teacher of this work. You have something to give to people. And don't ever sell yourself short. You know, very few people do what you have done. I mean that, Bob. That's how you ask. That's how you demand. I mean, today you have to find you know, different ways of doing, you know, I mean, but you can't do what you used to do, but there's still things that demand of God that you want to grow. You want a spiritual life. You want to grow. You want to become an enlightened being in this lifetime. I mean, they even say in the Bible, ask and you will receive. But it's not just lip service asking. It has to come from your whole being. Do I not have another question? Yes. I don't want to be limited by the uh, the, the physical changes that have transpired. They, on one level, they inspire me. On another level, it's like it it seems as if I need to be asking in a different way or moving in a different way. Could you talk about that? Please. Well, yes, Bob. Well, just listen to your inner voice. Listen to your connection with spirit. It will give you ways of using your situation to ask in different ways. You've changed. Your life has changed. Your whole way of being has changed. And that means that everything inside you has changed. And there'll be a whole new level of you asking in your life. I mean, you know, look, I know what you're going through is very difficult, Bob, and I have a lot of compassion for it. You know, but I also see changes that have taken place in you that I never saw before. I never saw the what, what's happened to you before. And sometimes we need kind of traumatic things to take us really deep inside ourselves and connect with God and connect with spirit and use those things. You've done all the other, Bob. You have served your... <laughs> the way you have served in the world is, is an amazing thing. And what you have done to help people involved in Rudy's work. So now it has to be different. Now it has to be you really helping yourself. You demanding of a higher energy, spiritual enlightenment in this lifetime. And doing whatever you have to do in your situation to get it. You know, you don't have to cook for 15 people anymore. They sh 15 people should come and cook for you. You know, I mean it.
And don't ever put yourself down. I mean, you know, there's a very incredibly compassionate, wonderful human being in there. And don't sell yourself short. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Man. Does anyone else have a question? Does anyone else have a question? Okay, if there are no more questions, I just, you know, I have my announcement that I've been making that on Friday, I I have this hernia thing that I somehow got, and I have to have an operation on it on Friday. And, uh, you know, there'll be class on, what's today, Monday, on Wednesday and Thursday. But on Friday, we'll have to play it by ear, depending on how I feel after that operation and how long it takes me to recover enough to be able to do this. But it's going to be on Friday at uh, 9.30 in the morning here, in, you know, Eastern time. So if you don't get an invite, uh, don't worry. I haven't <laughs> you know, turned my back on everybody. I just have to take care of myself, you know, right now. So God bless you all. Thank you. And uh, there'll be meditation tomorrow or Wednesday. And I'm looking forward to seeing you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Nice, Stuart. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Stuart. Good night. 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 Good night.